this should have been added to the previous video, but um, it didn't get put. So how do you turn in your uh, program once it's been compiled as it was in the last video where you ended up with two files? And what I mean by that is that when we uh, told it to Java C, compile the Java program uh, in one directory, we got a class file and we got a Java file. The Java file is the source, that is what is actually holding the code. That class is the actual program that runs. I'm going to go back one level, cd dot dot, so that I am now above the uh, place where the files reside. I'll double, or rather, I will select ls to get a listing, and I know that I have then a directory called hello world. In more simple terms, in your computer, uh, there is the same folder structure. We have, well, I'm currently in pocket.org, that is my user folder. Users are usually on the left here on favorite. That's the first one there. Uh, if you had seen actually what my hard drive consists of, it has applications, the library, the system, also a users folder. Double click on that, same thing that I just opened. I have a guest user, have a shared user, and I also have my own user directory. I'll double click on that. I get a whole bunch of stuff that I have there. I will double click on Java, which is where I'm storing my stuff for now. And I have a hello world directory. This contains two, fo two files rather. I'm going to then right click on the name of the folder, right click and tell it to compress hello world. This will then generate a .zip file. The .zip file is what needs to be turned in. In th this particular program, hello world, I will click on the name of the assignment, 1.3 hello world, scroll down a little bit, and then find that I can browse my local files and it says well it remembers where I was but let's say you were somewhere else you were in your hard drive and you see all these files etc uh, what you can do then is if especially if you have the folder open you can just say hey this zip file right here I need to drag and drop it'll say is this the file you want I'll just make sure that it's highlighted click open and at this point uh, I can I can write a uh, submission statement if I wanted to, or not. I can just click on submit, and then the file will be uploaded. This file, in turn, contains both of the files in Hello World. If I were to get rid of this one, or I would uh, let me just double click on the dot zip. It that says well, it created a copy of it called Hello World 2. This one has the both files that I would need for your grading. I'll get rid of these for now, but that's how you would then create a zip out of the files inside of your folder, including the folder. That is the preferred way to do it. And then once you hit submit, you should be okay.